Hey guys, it's uh, Tom from Photoex here. Um, I've just downloaded the new uh, Lightroom 4 Beta. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so I thought I'd just do a quick video and open it up and uh, see what's different, uh, see what changes they've made to it. So here we go, I'll open it up now. I've just installed a new um, SSD, uh, so all my catalogues and everything is screwed up. So I'm going to uh, just use the default catalogue for now. Okay, so here it is. Uh, basically, looks the same so far. Uh, you can see straight away at the top, you've got a couple more options up here. You've got map and book. Um, they're new. Just click through these quickly. Um, everything else there looks pretty much the same. Just turn off the tips and uh, dive in. See what we've got. Okay, so in the develop module, uh, I can see there's some new uh, presets uh, done arranged differently, sort of in their own menus. You've got black and white color effect in general, plus your user presets. And over on this side, oh, that's interesting. Um, they've changed this around. We've got uh, exposure as always, contrast has moved. Um, we've now got highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. They don't have recovery anymore. Uh, we've got presence is the same with the clarity and the vibrance. Uh, you've still got your tone curves, saturation, split toning, sharpening, noise reduction, lens corrections. That all looks the same. Tell you what, I'll just get a photo in here just to uh, play around with those a bit. Uh, if I can just find a photo quickly. Um, I just find a raw file that I've taken. Let's uh, so have a go with this one. Yeah, I'll just go to the develop module with this. This was taken on my uh, Lumix uh, GF1. Okay, so that's interesting that they've got rid of the recovery slider because I did use that quite a bit with my landscape photos. And now instead of recovery, you've got uh, whites and blacks. So obviously you can bring the whites right down, which I guess does the same thing that the recovery did. Uh, you can see in the histogram up here. And you've got your blacks that we uh, had before. But you've also got shadows and highlights. So I don't know, let's have a look. Let's pull the blacks right down and see what that does. And put it back. And pull the shadows down. Yeah, that's quite interesting. That's quite a good, uh, good way of doing it. So the blacks really pulls the the blacks all the way down but the shadows literally only does take the shadows um, so you're not pulling all all the blacks down and the highlights brings all that background back so it's a bit like this shadows when you push it up is a bit like fill light and um, it kind of boosts the shadows up a bit like the fill light uh, slider did which has also disappeared now so basically, instead of fill light and uh, recovery, we've now got shadows and highlights. I mean, it kind of makes sense, because that's what the other ones did anyway. And the contrast button has moved up. And we all know what the contrast does. Uh, I can't see anything else obvious there. Um, as far as I know, all the sharpening and noise reduction... It's all the same. I don't think they've made any improvements to it really. And everything else down there is. Ah, we've noted here we've got. Um, this has now gone up to 2012. It was on 2010 before. So that's interesting. I wonder if they've done anything with that. 
Uh, let's bring that back to import and like I said over here we've got different presets it looks to be all the same presets so you just put them into uh, different categories yeah it's all the same presets there's no new ones there they just rearrange them a bit so it's easier to find yeah, and up here we've got map I don't even know what this is like I said I literally only just downloaded this just before um, oh okay I see yeah you can um, if you've got GPS tagging on your photos it will show them all on the map I'm never going to use that and book one would assume you can make some sort of photo book with that which is quite good so it's a bit like the old print module that had all this sort of stuff in it. That's a slideshow, we know what that does. Print, so you've got all your different um, print sizes and print settings. And web. Again, you make little websites, little, little image galleries. All good stuff in there. Okay, well, I'm going to um, play around with this. Uh, I think the beta lasts until March this year, so we've got a few months to have a good play around with it and uh, see what it's like. Um, I did read something on the website briefly when I was downloading it about video. Um, I don't have any videos to hand to import in here and play around with. Um, and I did see something about different published services as well, but they all look the same to me. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll play around with it and uh, I might do another video in a month or so. And that's interesting, I've just seen in this menu here you can import images from different catalogues. So if you have more than one catalogue like I do, I've got one for my personal stuff and one for my like business stuff. You can drag uh, an image off a different catalogue. Uh, plug in stuff the same. Uh, Import photos and video there. Import from application. Auto import. That looks the same. And you can edit. Got your metadata. Yeah, there's a few different bits hidden away. I'll read the uh, download in uh, the um, release instructions and see what else is different and have a play around with it and uh, maybe make another video later. All right. Thanks very much.